In the mid-1990s, biomedical communications transitioned from an undergraduate program to a two-year graduate degree in the Institute of Medical Science. And I was part of uh, the program during that time. It's been wonderful for me to watch the evolution of that program over time, from its early roots in traditional medical illustration to an expanding profession that encompasses many more forms of visual communication, such as simulation, 3D animation, interactive media, data visualization, graphic narratives, and it continues to expand. The program is really unique in that it's the only program dedicated to visual communication in science and medicine in all of Canada. And it's one of only four accredited programs in North America. When we think about the type of students we want to apply to the BMC program, there, there seems to be a, a misconception among applicants that they have to be strong artists first. Actually, we're looking for students who have a really strong background in science, but who are very passionate about visual communication. But we're also looking for students who are strong problem solvers and who look forward to the prospect of working on team projects. It's, it's a very tight-knit community and students will often form part of a larger team when eventually they go to industry and, and, and work in medical animation or interactive media. So we are looking for students who encompass all of these qualities, but primarily students who are very passionate about creating visual media and solving these scientific problems.